Okay, today everybody we're asking the question, should you add schema.org review stars to your website? And the answer to that question is yes, video done. No, just kidding, seriously, it's actually a bigger topic than that. I'm gonna dive into some of the subtleties and stuff like that, but, but what we're asking today is, should you use schema.org to develop review stars in Google for your website? And uh, yeah, let's dive into it, right? Okay, so first thing, what am I talking about here? Well, basically, schema.org is this code that you can put inside of your uh, web page, inside of the HTML. And what happens is when Google crawls schema.org, based off of the information you tell them, they might choose to um, interpret that information and show that information differently inside of Google, or they might just choose to analyze that information and keep it for themselves. With schema.org for review stars, what happens is they see that there's reviews on a page, and then if based off of the rating that it has, they're gonna show stars inside of Google. So if it only has a three star rating, three stars, five stars, five stars, etc. So it can be really good because it can really increase click-through rates. It can actually have something that stands out inside of Google. Click-through rates, meaning when somebody sees the review stars, they click on it more because you know it kind of pops inside of the Google search results. And it's really big for review sites and it's really big for sites that sell products, for e-commerce. It can even be big for service sites. If you Google um, you know, SEO company, SEO firm, and things like that, you'll see that we have some review stars that pop up. So I'm really big on this, and it's, I think it's something that everybody should be looking at doing, but there's a couple things that you need to know. First, one of the things you can do is if you have a five-star review on another website, you can put a piece of code on your site that tells Google, look, I've got this five-star review on this other website. I want you to associate that with my website. And when somebody does a search for my website, show the five-star review inside of Google. Again, that happens with Ignite Visibility. What you can't do there is you can't just take that five-star review and tell Google to associate it with every page on your site. You can't do it. They won't let you. Um, you actually can get a penalty for it, right? So. But what you can do is you can take that five-star review and associate it with the services and or the pages that are associated with that review. So if it was because we had five-star reviews for being a great SEO company, we can associate that with our SEO page. So that's kind of how you need to think about that. But I can't take that and I can't associate that with my 2,000 blog posts. Okay, so when it comes to review sites and when it comes to product sites and things like that, it's, it's kind of the same concept, right? the review stars need to be associated with a specific area. So first off is, are the reviews gonna be on a different site or are they gonna be on your site? We talked about what it's like if the reviews are on a different site and you're associating that with your site. Now what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about if you have your own site and you have reviews gen being generated and shown on that site. So let's use a product um, uh, for example, right? So say you have a product and you've got 15 reviews on that. You can use the schema.org to tell Google, look, we've got 15 reviews on this page. Um, the rating based off of those 15 reviews is 4.8. And uh, I want you to take this information and show it in search results. As a result of that, whether it is a product page or whether it is a directory listing and somebody has, you know, 4.8 stars for a hotel you like or a restaurant or something. Um, it's good because when people see that, they know that you've got um, X amount of reviews on this area and that the aggregate rating kind of entices them to come in because the user knows that they're gonna be able to find out more information and that in turn helps your click-through rates. In addition to that, if you have reviews on your site, actually on your site, that's fresh content for Google. So if those reviews actually relate to the product page or to you know, the individual vendor page or whatnot, that's gonna allow that page to rank higher and higher and higher. So reviews are a good thing, schema.org is a good thing, and those are some of the things you need to know about it. Okay, there's a lot that comes up with reviews in schema.org. I've seen so many things break. I've seen people try to put review schema on pages they shouldn't, on categories they shouldn't, on home pages they shouldn't. Um, there, there's things that you can specify incorrectly inside of them. Uh, a lot of times people mess up with the aggregate rating. There's actually specifics in there on, on, on things you can do and you can't do. Google has very clear review guidelines. So you wanna make sure that you review that. I'll make sure to leave a link for that 
inside of this video, but I'm not gonna go over it all today. That being said, I hope you learned something about reviews in Google and using schema.org, excuse me, and I can't wait to see you for the next Ignite Visibility University. Have a great day.